All right, let's find a way out. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. All things considered? That's high praise coming from you. It is. Mountains and make Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. <laughs> Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Sov's boys are giving this place the once over. He's nothing if not thorough. More guys over there, yeah? This should do the trick. <laughs> Okay. Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? 
Not the right layout for a temple. Now what we got? Up. We go up. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army. What? That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain! Here come the others. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. Oh, he's down. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There is a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over assault. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Think the false men know what they're looking for? See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Seals. Structures on the other side of this gate. What? Are you, huh?
All right. Are we clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. That's what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Perfect. That should do it. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? <sighs> I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, <sighs> guess this isn't the way in. There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. 
My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, this is open now. by the mountain left. Indeed. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. Here off off, we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Hassar fight over it. None of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Hassar? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Let's see her! Lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. Right. Where were we? Anyway, like I was saying, I worked with the Sov to establish my rep. Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Watch it. Mm-hmm. We're out of range now. Just a minor speed bump with gunfire. Okay. So we were talking about... So as I was saying... Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? 
Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. I have other things to attend to first. The rebels might be here already. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. Shiva. Who's the god of destruction, right? Yes. Well, maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing things up? Definitely. Once more, with gusto. There we go. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! no! <coughs> Razor, you okay? <coughs> yep. Come on in. Water's fine. I mean, don't drink it. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear.
okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <laughs> oh shit, the statue moved again. <laughs> Oh, turns out getting walloped by an axe hurts a little. I'll bet. You all right? Yeah, all in a day's work. No better way to learn than on the job. I'd rather watch the master. Flattery gets you everywhere. Also rather not get hit by an axe. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues. With two different symbols now. Star. They're all voice of our sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better. We had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in threes. Huh? We'll see.
one whiz by. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. seem to move the outside ring. Either. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on.
We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. <laughs> Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <clears throat> I would have made you dodge the axes. anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one armed through their demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross rocks. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Just be done with Shoreline. Oh, we've got rebels up ahead. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. What the hell? Now that's what I'm talking about. Not so I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. Last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hmm. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. <sighs> I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. way up. There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. Go then. Okay. They're even more impressive up close. Yeah, and we're about to get closer. Apologies. Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, oh, poor boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Yeah, I've got you. All right, I can manage. Just accept my help. Fine. Come on up. But only because you said, please. I didn't, actually. Once you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. 
He's more than happy to place them in your way if you think to benefit. That why the horse is not chosen for Halibadu? He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Is this really the only way across? <laughs> yep. Amazing. <laughs> 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 Right? That was the craziest thing I've ever done. Yeah. In a good way or bad way? I'll let you know. Doing great, China. Yes. I'll be doing better when we get to the car. I'm surprised we haven't seen Sav yet. Knock on wood. Oh, he's around. It's dark. We'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Oh, 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 thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Impressive. Yeah. Oh. No. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Way in, courtesy of the Persian army. <laughs> wow, <coughs> nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Parashurama and Ganesh. Really? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. Nice out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. <clears throat> they barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated.
Must be a way out of this chamber. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Armament. You were right, Nadine. I have my moment. There's no Persian. Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey! Another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good! This one actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. Here we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. All right, that slid the piece away from me. Hey, it's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. See what's happening. The shadows reach the new Great. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun.
That's it. We did it. Doors open. All in a day's work. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh, careful. Hmm. Amazing. What a shaver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva, that's the symbol of... Below. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered, to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belong? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Huge waterfall here. There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> uh. 
You know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? <laughs> 